नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टूडे टॉपिक इज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रूट टू रूट थ्री रूट फाइव रूट टेन एंड रूट थर्टीन ऑन नंबर लाइन सो विल स्टार्ट विद द रूट टू टू रिप्रेजेंट रूट टू ऑन द नंबर लाइन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ रूलर आफ्टर दैट यू टेक एन आर्क ऑफ योर ओन लेंथ वट एवर लेंथ यू विल टेक इट विल बिकम अ कॉन्स्टेंट सो हियर सो वी आर टेकिंग दिस वन सो टेक योर ओन लेंथ वन टू थ्री आफ्टर दैट लुक एट हियर रूट टू कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट एज वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर सो वाई वी आर टेकिंग वन स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर रिमेंबर पाइथागस थ्रम से इज दैट हैपेटनस स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू बेज स्क्वायर प्लस पर्पेंडिकुलर स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स हियर दिस वन हैपेटनस कैन बी रिटर्न एज रूट ओवर बी स्क्वायर प्लस पी स्क्वायर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इल सी हियर थ्री यूनिट फोर यूनिट then 5 unit square can be written as 3 square plus 4 square so let's start with this one so here we need base one unit this is your base and this is your perpendicular so take this one so we'll going to take here so this is already we have taken here one and this will be two this will be three so on one unit we're going to take one perpendicular line so with the help of this compass You draw a ninety degree. So here, more than that, take it. So here we have ninety degree. Draw, extend it. So now, take the length of this one unit. Put on one, cut it. Join. Give a name. O. Uh, whatever name I uh, give a. Join zero to a. So this, sorry, this will be your. What well, this is your one unit. This is your one unit, and this will be your root two. Take the length of this one. Take it as a radius. and draw an arc on number line and whatever the intersecting point you are getting this one given name b this one this one is called root two similarly if you go for root three you can see here root three to represent root three so you can write root 3 as root 2 square plus 1 square so first target to get root 3 you need root 2 so let's get a, as a same style take your own arc length here we have 1 2 3 4 1 two, 3 4 we need root to first so here on one we need perpendicular so with the help of this protector we'll draw a perpendicular line extend it so take the length of this one this is one unit so on here you will going to take this one one unit join this one if we'll join it this will be your root 2 so take the length of root 2 and draw an arc on number line this will be your root 2 so now look at here your base is your root 2 this is your base and this is your perpendicular that means on root 2 you have to take one perpendicular line same with the help of protector draw a perpendicular line here we are getting you can see this is your root 2 and you can see here we need one unit so take the measurement of 0 to 1 this is your one unit put your pin point of compass here get this one join this part so here so length of this one is root 3 we need this root 3 on a number line so take the length of this one 
and get a radius on this okay and this is your root 3 so if you need a root 4 and we know that root 4 would be root 2 so we will get here root 2 here okay so now we will proceed for your root 5 so if we go with the root 5 you can see that root 5 can be uh, written as 2 square plus 1 square that means this will be your base and this will be your perpendicular you may exchange this one you can take this one as your base and this one as your what perpendicular but we'll take the bigger one at the base so here uh, first our target is take your own arc length so here we are taking by our choice so here first one second third fourth the five this much is enough so we are getting here one two three four so here five root five we need here two so here one unit two unit after two units see here there's a perpendicular line have you seen there's a perpendicular line of one unit so on two we have to take a perpendicular line so use the compass or protector we'll use protector here to a perpendicular line on the real line or number line so here we are getting a perpendicular line take one unit you can see here there is a one unit take the one unit length from to get an arc join from 0, 0 0.0 to that arc here you are joining so whatever length you are getting this one look at here it's same just uh, like your perpendicular you can see that this is your perpendicular this is your base perpendicular base and this will give you hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is here root 5 and take the length of this root 5 and do an arc on what number line and whatever the value this point you are getting this point is your root 5 if you want to if you want root 6 that means root 6 can be written as root 5 ka whole square plus 1 square that means we need a perpendicular line on root 5 so here we need a perpendicular line take a perpendicular line on root 5 okay and again you take one unit here we're going to take one unit here so get the one unit here this is your one unit okay join this one so whatever length you are getting this one okay just touch this part this part is your root six so similarly your root 7 can be written as root 6 whole square plus 1 chi square that means on this root 6 you take perpendicular line get this one join them and again take an arc on this and whatever length you will get that will be your root 7 okay similarly root 8 also you can write here okay i hope that you have got this one thank you very much